Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Wolo. I love to share information about life in Canada, immigrating to Canada and everything useful or beneficial to anybody who plans to come to Canada, whether you intend to visit or you intend to immigrate. I share useful information for people and today's video is an information concerning the rural and northern immigration pilot like I promised in my last video and it is focused on Altona and Rhineland. Now Altona, Rhineland, Plum Kule and Gretna, they are actually four communities that have been chosen for um, the rural and northern immigration pilot under the group called SEED. The full meaning of SEED is supporting entrepreneurs' economic development. They have been chosen to manage the rural and northern immigration pilot for these four communities, which are Altona, Rhineland, Plum Kule, and Gretna. On their website presently, we will only find information for um, Altona and Rhineland. I, I think as the month goes by more information for Gretna and Plum Kule will also be added to their website. Another information that you need to know is that the government of Canada has also updated the website for rural and under immigration pilot that shows the forms that will be filled by the community if they give you a recommendation and also information concerning the websites that are now active in terms of um, people who can search for jobs and apply for jobs for the rural and northern immigration pilot. So I'll be showing you shortly on the SEED website, the jobs that are available. I think about seven jobs are currently available for those who are in the agricultural sector or the food processing sector. So if you know anybody whose occupation is in the agricultural sector or the food processing sector, please send this video to this person so that the person can take advantage of the pilot. And you also find um, the community criteria. Now, it's not just getting the job offer. And there are several other factors that goes into getting a community recommendation, which I really want you to take note of when you watch the video, when I show you um, the details on the website. This is the website where you will go to find information for Altona and Rhineland. And it is managed by supporting entrepreneurs economic development known as seed so you go to www.seedrpga.com slash immigration pilot once you come to this website you will find all the information you need concerning the um, rural and northern immigration pilot for altona and rhineland it's supposed to be four communities um Plum Kule and Gretna should also be included in this, but, but for now, you will only find information for Altona and Rhineland. And then when you have the time, you can go through all the headings here to find more uh, details of what they want or the kind of occupations they need in this community. When you scroll down, you can read here that says if you are a foreign national interested in the rural and northern immigration pilot click here to see a list of current employment opportunities in altona and rhineland so once you click here it's going to take you to the page where you will find the current um opportunities job opportunities have been of that are currently open for candidates who are living outside of canada to up there are about seven opportunities currently open and they are meal operator bindery me bindery machine operator bindery small equipment machine operator lead bindery machine operator level two printing press operator level two bindery machine operator and truck driver if you find your occupation in this list then you can go ahead and create a candidate profile and apply to any of these jobs it is very important that you create a candidate profile because once you create a profile they'll be requesting for you to upload certain documents and like i mentioned you need your ielts and you must have evaluated your credentials for you to be eligible for this opportunity if you don't see any employment opportunity that is similar to what your your occupation is, you can still create a candidate profile to get alerts 
for any future job opportunities going back to the home page um i'll show you what the community specific criteria is so you have to click here to know what the criteria is it's not just applying for a job there are also other things that the um, community will look at before they can give you a recommendation and that's what is important because applying for a job is one step the second step is getting the job offer the third step is getting a community recommendation so you can actually get a job offer and not get a community recommendation so you need to know the things that will give you points to get a community recommendation and it is listed here as um, the comprehensive priority points grid which the vetting committee would look at and assess the eligibility of every candidate who applies for community recommendation taking into consideration the priori priority factors outlined in the comprehensive priority points grid the top ranking candidates will move on to further assessment, including an applicant interview to ensure they intend to reside in the community. So like I mentioned, it's not just getting the job offer. The committee will also look at your application and do other assessments before they give you the community recommendation. Now, the first thing that gives you a point is getting a qualifying job offer in the sector of agriculture and manufacturing which gives you automatically 20 points that means in this community only occupations under the agricultural um, sector if you know you are an agricultural person or you have been working in the food processing um, industry this community is um, for you so this is where you should focus your attention on in terms of applying for jobs and other opportunities so if you get a job offer you get 20 points if you get a qualifying job offer in the sector of construction food processing and financial services so actually people who are in the financial services can even take advantage of this as well people who have experience as accounting technicians or accountants and all that as long as they fall under the financial services they can also take advantage of this opportunity so you get 10 points and then the job offer is from an established employer who has been operating a business within the boundaries um or municipality of Rhineland then you get a 10 points there if you get a job offer from an employer who will provide the candidate with a workplace mentor for a minimum of six months you get five points if you have a job offer in knock skills a b you get 10 points for knock skills c you get a five points for candidates who have a driver valid driver's license from their country of origin you have a five points for candidates who have lived as an adult 18 years of age or older in a community with a population of 10,000 people or less and located one hour away from a large densely populated urban area for a minimum of six months, you get five points. Candidates who have family members who are permanent residents of Canada or a Canadian citizen and has been living within the boundaries of the town of altona or rhineland for a minimum of two years you get 20 points for friend grandparents uncle aunt cousin niece or nephew you get 10 points for candidates who have previously spent one week or more within the boundaries of the town of altona or municipality of rhineland you get five points for candidates who have spouse or common law partner with work experience that could fill neighbor needs in the following industry sectors such as agriculture, construction, education, financial services, food processing, pharmaceuticals, healthcare, hospital, manufacturing, social services, retail, technology, transportation, you will get a 10 points. Then the candidate who has a spouse or common law partner with post-secondary education that could fill labor needs in the following industry sectors such as agriculture, construction, education, financial services, food processing, pharmaceuticals, healthcare, hospital, manufacturing, social services, retail, technology, transportation, you will get a 10 points. And then finally, for candidates who are between the ages of 25 to 38 years old, as of the date, the application for recommendation is received by seed then you get a 10 point so these are all the factors 
that will be considered in addition to getting a job offer once these factors are in place and you get a higher ranking score then you will get a recommendation later from the community with which you can proceed to apply for the rural and northern immigration pilot so this is the government of canada web page where you find um, information concerning applying for the community recommendation once you get the community recommendation you would need to apply for permanent residence you can see that out of the 11 communities only three of them have a dedicated website um that is already active uh, seed rogpa is already active salt temari is already active thunder bay is already active um uh, sudbury and brandon they are supposed to also start alongside with these other three communities but they are in process so you click on next apply for permanent residence once you get to this place this is where you find all the information that you need concerning applying for permanent residence after you must have gotten the uh, recommendation from the community and it is required that the employer should fill out this form which is the imm 5984 form and once the employer fills out the form the community will also fill out the second form which is the 0112 form and then you who is the applicant you must fill out all these forms uh, because they are required so you fill out all these forms and when you fill all these forms pay the fees online and then you submit your application to the centralized intake office in sydney nova scotia canada so this is the address where you will submit your application to it's a mail application paper application and um, it's not an online application like express entry so once you've gotten everything this is where you send your application so i'm actually supposed to travel to altona and rhineland i am hoping once the weather is clear enough and the roads are okay because it's been snowing and once it snows like this the visibility is usually poor the roads are usually slippery there are a lot of highway accidents because of the snow but i hope to go to altona it's about a one hour drive altona rhineland i'll take a drive there um hopefully very soon i am not so sure of the date <laughs> hopefully very soon once i get there i'll do a tour of the whole environment so that you can see the place and have an idea of what it is like if you eventually get a community recommendation so you have a picture of the place you'll be living in thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video so please don't forget to subscribe click the like button and share with your friends and families and anybody who plans to immigrate to Canada. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.